Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Welcome back. And today's video, I wanted to share a uh, video response to a question I received the other day. And it was regarding um, when you make your own envelopes from designer paper and it has a busy print or it's dark, uh, what are your options in putting an address label on it if you want to mail it? Well, you can use just the regular labels that you can purchase, but I wanted to share another little idea that's a little more artisty, creative, and just something fun that I like to do. So first of all, let me just show you how I make the envelopes in case you haven't seen this before. It's with the uh, diagonal scoring, uh, simply scored plate over my simply scored scoring tool. And I have for a standard size A2 card, I've cut my Cart my designer paper to seven and three quarter inch square. And on two sides, we are going to score at three and an eighth. And I'm gonna turn it all the way around and score on the other side. And then on the other two sides at four and an eighth. Okay, so now we have our score lines. And it's a good idea to go ahead and fold on all those lines to get a good crease. And I think I'm going to put this dot pattern on the outside of my envelope. So I'm just going to fold the creases. And then where those intersecting score lines meet, there's a little triangle. And to make a neater fold, you just snip those out. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these two pieces in here and use a little glue to pull up the bottom flap and actually form the envelope. Now, some like to cut off this little point. I don't always do that. Sometimes I leave it because I think it's cute, and you can also just fold it down right there to get your contrasting print on that side and then just put a little bit of glue and help that stay down like that. Okay, so okay. now we're ready to uh, address the envelope. So I need um, something here to make it lighter so that the address is visible. And you, like I said before, you can put a label, a pre-purchase label, or you could make your own from cardstock. But I like to use uh, white gesso and you can find this in any craft store in the paint section or even in the big box stores I found it on the craft aisle. And it's just a white base that's used to provide um, work with different kinds of mediums in art, painting, watercolor, but it can be used for different things and I like using it on some of my crafting projects. So I'm just going to use a little foam brush and I'm just going to paint some strokes right here on the front of the card. And there's not really, um, you don't want it uniform, you want it kind of artsy looking. It just gives a fun touch to the front of the card. And it is a little bit transparent. You can keep applying coats, but that's not necessary. It's going to dry and have a pretty smooth finish. And then I like to address with a, a Sharpie marker and it holds up real well. It's very visible and good for the postal service. Now, what I do is I use um, return address labels usually, and so for when I address like this, I'll put my return address on the back of the, of the envelope flap. So anyway, also be sure to visit my blog at www.inkandinspirations.com. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <music>